Coast Guard has opened a hearing to focus on what happened in the June 2023 implosion of the Titan submersible, which killed five people in the North Atlantic. Channel 2's Ron Plants went to East Aurora today to talk with the CEO of Pelagic Research Services, which helped lead the Coast Guard's massive rescue and recovery effort last summer. You may remember last summer as the world was intently focused on this operation in the North Atlantic off St. John, Newfoundland to try to find the Titan submersible and its five person crew. And we here in Western New York fascinated to learn that this piece of underwater equipment, the remotely piloted Odysseus, was actually stored in an East Aurora backstreet office garage complex. But with its unique capabilities, it and the crew of owner Pelagic Research Services were thrust into the global spotlight as they were asked to lead the search effort and sadly found debris from the Titan 12,500 feet below the surface near the Titanic's resting place. The first dive was when the debris was located and the other six were about mapping the debris field and then recovery. They actually used the specially equipped control room for the operators on board the Horizon Arctic Mothership platform to also recover the wreckage of the imploded submersible with these manipulator arms with grasping claws. Now this Coast Guard hearing, which is looking into the cause of the Titan's implosion, has for the first time released this video of the Titan's vehicle tail cone. It was recorded by the Pelagic crew last June. What do you hope for? Well, I think, you know, we all, I think everyone would like to understand what happened and hopefully through those answers, provide advice and guidance to anyone else who is going to be pushing those limits. We will always have a need to understand and explore the ocean. And one of the critical ways of doing that, I believe, is in human occupied vehicles. The area of the loss of the Titanic, which now includes the loss of the Ocean Gate Titan submersible, it's a, I, the only way I can describe it, and you may have heard me describe it this way before, it feels spiritual. There's something about that spot. And I made sure that my team and working with the captain, the ship's crew, we acknowledged where we were. We acknowledged the effort that we were making for trying to rescue the team on the Titan submersible. We acknowledged their loss and always acknowledged the loss of Titanic as well. Apologic Research Services handles these catastrophic events, recently checked out wreckage of the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig, which exploded and sank in the Gulf of Mexico back in 2010. You may remember that. They're adding two more underwater vehicles like Odysseus for expanded undersea exploration, environmental work, and other missions for NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and other agencies and labs around the world, Claudine. It's amazing. It really is. It's a big deal, and it's right here in East Aurora. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's right back there. As I said, it's in the back of the village off one of those back streets. You'd never think it. But they're doing what they need to do. Amazing people there, too. You're right about that. Ron, thanks so much for that report tonight. Moving on to some other.